Hey everyone, Oddboy here. Uh, we saluting to you. <laughs> I salute to my viewers. Um, I'm not gonna do that because why not? We're back with more uh, Capsule, Capsule Monster Call of Sea. Jinx, you owe me a set. Um, this is the last person we have to do. Off screen, we fought him and we lost because we had rushed it. Yeah. We decided to rush it because our, the the um, camera only records so much. And we were running really short on time. Which reminds me, it'll take a bit for it to transfer even if we win. Over to the computer? Yeah. Okay. Um, how long did it take for you to say? 20 minutes. And <laughs> dual. Well, I mean, I was also exporting this file from the Elgato and trying to save this track to Audacity at the same time. Oh, no wonder it's so slow. So, in this one, we do not want to rush. <laughs> because last time we rushed, we regarded it horribly. Summon Skull, yeah. Metal Zoa, everyone pretty much... No, Zoa. Everyone pretty much died. And it was just painful to look at. Miraculously, the only person that did die in the last fight with Pegasus was Mon Larvis, which is kind of a heavy blow, because he yeah. would have been perfect here. Mon, Mon Larvis was, a, was, a, was such a great soul. He hated everyone and everything. Such a good heart, nothing less. Good. Um, I do hope Bakura will be more reasonable with our monsters here. Fuck Bakura, he's not good. He's not merciless. <laughs> Um, so Great Moth isn't getting any boosts here, so we're going to use Metal Zoa, and that has already put us very low. Um, so we're going to have to be very diligent here. Um, we could use or we could just blow it on another heavy monster. Yeah, let's not do that. Ryuka Shin. Yes, he's back. We're going to be using him again. Um, we might need to use some wind monsters. Don't really have any. Oh, we have our buddies. Yeah, we're gonna need to cut that wind straight up. We okay. We need to take out the heavy hitter. Metal Zone, I hate to break it to you, man, but who hits harder? I didn't actually look at the attack. Where is this attack? Oh, it's down there. Two eleven, and it's actually going up because of the map. Depending. So, what is some of Skull's hits? What was Middle Zoa's? He got a hundred and set one put. So plus. we'll take him out because um, we're hitting harder with some Skull right now. And plus, we need the we need everyone. We need our heavy hitters. What about Curse of Dragon? Um, he got so. Yeah, he's not hitting hard. His what? defense is also pretty what bad. What about the Dark Magician with big boobies? She has worse uh, curse of dragon. She gets 107% due to map. She's actually hitting it as hard as a uh, curse of dragon. A faith bird will be hitting not very hard. Curse of dragon, what is your movement? 2-2. Two, two. I do want to use Kawagata Alpha again. Kawagata! Wow, he is like not hitting less shit. Okay, um. Yeah. Lamoon, what are we hitting? Okay, we're not using Lamoon on the stage. We could drag him with Urzat's head. What do we got going on? Okay, what about Baby Dragon? Baby Dragon hits horror! Yeah, we're using Baby Dragon. Um, I'm just putting low-cost monsters in here. Wait, what was Baby Dragon's name? Uh, the thing about Bakura is you want to be, have, that's pretty good. You want to have some pretty good movement on him in all types of directions. Okay, so can you through water here? Kurala, what are we hitting with? 41. It's Kurama. Time Wizard, what are we hitting? Okay. I just looked at the drop. This is taking a little bit of time just because I need to be sure I'm good. 
definitely be using Karibo here. The symbol is actually mitigating the drops from field. Happy Lover, I think, is actually, like, bad for this day. Because I'm happy! So we have enough for something a little bit under 120. We can actually use a Harpy Lady at this stage. Ooh. Low shovel pressure. Shovel pressure actually sucks. Okay, mine then. Why would you want to crush your shuffles? Shovels. We might actually have to use Feral Lamp. Depending on who it's harder. Him versus... Wow, we are actually going to be using Feral Lamp. I'm glad I picked him up! Alrighty. Now we begin. See, Metal Zoa does hit really hard, but the unfortunate problem with Metal Zoa is the fact that his cost is a little pricey. And by that I mean a lot. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that's real estate birds. That's bad. This is going to be a huge catastrophe. Do not speak of this one. You made the ridiculous pun. It's different. It's from the exact same movie. Of the exact same scene. Did Faith Bird even really move? You know the fourth Shrek movie? Someone still needs to get in there. Okay, Chroma. Shin. Dragon. Oh, baby dragon, so cute. Oh, please shut up. <laughs> you shut up. You shut up. You. You. Know, you have any. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll <laughs> shut up then. <laughs> but what about infinity? It's time to surpass it. You, something that surpasses infinity beyond. No logic can stop me. You mean Quacksire? <laughs> How, you know, I once thought Quagsire evolved into Wobbuffet. Yeah, you raised a 100 Quagsire and it did not evolve. Genius at work. They just look so much alike on the regular gameplay to me. Aw, oh, sure, look at that. They They were both blue, they both appeared to be water types. Surprise! Well, it's actually a psychic type! I thought it was a water back then. You saw Team Rocket using it, and I just wanted to make one. What do you make one? Well, you see, when two Wobbuffets love each other very much... Because why not? <laughs> Okay, big bad summon skull is out and about. Hmm. Bring out your dead. So how fast do you think we can beat him? The monsters we really have to watch out for are Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress and his fucking Queen of Autumn Leaves. Those right. things hit like nukes. I'm taking very precautionous steps, as you can see, because... Last time we fought him, he kind of, like, died. Fast. Kind of ridiculous. Ridiculous, you know? Someone's skull died over there. You ever there. played Splixio? No, 
What now? Splixio. No. It's this game on the internet where you go around as this little dot that try and fill up as much squares as possible, but you leave a line behind you whenever you leave out your territory. But if you make a huge box, you'll fill up the entire thing with your territory. With your color. Okay. I don't know. But if someone hits your line while you're outside of your territory, you'll die. So don't make a big box. Right, kinda. Gotta make a medium sized box. Okay, so they are getting ready to come in. So we need to look at that. So one, two, can we that diagonally once? Okay, that's a dot dot. Um, so this fucker. Mm. One, but two, the shape, but yet you two, make the box. Two, it doesn't have to be a two. box. It can be like a uh, letter even. I'm really not liking this. Wow. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Okay. Good for you. You ever seen the old Ronald McDonald cartoons? Uh, I don't know. With the hamburger? Oh, the hamburger. Uh, I, yeah, but apparently that was made to get people to come to McDonald's and eat the cartoon was. Okay, that obviously did not get out. All, the only two people I know of from that show is Ronald McDonald and the Hamburglar. Everyone else, I'm not sure what the heck they're supposed to be. Who or what they're supposed to be. These assholes hit like a shit ton of bricks. So we're going after them. We've never seen Faith Bird, so we're going to about to see him. Join us, Karibo. We will make bird. your fans the greatest in all the Coliseum, or else you will die. Rainbows! Hey, yeah, actually, it's a big game. <laughs> uh -oh, that's nice. Suck, 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 sucksy sucks. I love how I'm having my son's just coward in fear. <laughs> Pretty much. Don't do that. Why not? You're not a zombie. I might be. Well, that's surprising as you're not rotting, you don't smell like dead corpse. How do you know that zombies smell like that and do that? This Have you ever seen a zombie in real life before? I've seen a cadaver. Does that count? Is a cadaver walking? Was a cadaver walking around? And no, but it smelled like dead body. Was hey, it eating people's brains? brains? But was it eating other people's brains? No, it was dead. It was on the table. It was a lifeless corpse. <laughs> Essentially, that's what a cadaver is. How do you know that's what a zombie is? I do not have to explain this to you. <laughs> and why is that? Die, Karibo. Hey, our Karibo died. Was that like a bitch? Silver lining? I can get some my room service! Don't do this ever. <laughs> oh, we can one shot it! Doing it! Fuck yes! I was like, don't do what I'm doing, but hey, it was a one shot, so I was. gonna hold back on the mission. What's worrying me is this friggin' shit. Too. She is a dot dot attacker, which is annoying. 
Yeah, she's a dot dot attacker. So we just took out two of his uh, monsters. Uh, Ferron's gonna die here. That wing dragon is getting to be real a real pain in the ass. Really? Ow. Yeah, big ass. Don't you dare, you little shit. Bakura is not supposed to be this strong. He's like the first guy you fight. What the hell? I don't care if you're getting boost from the damn stage. This is redonkulous. It's a complete catastrophe. Just, just, you made the same joke from the, 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 the you made a joke of the from the same scene from the same movie just now, literally. Hey, guess what? I wasn't making a joke from that. That's an actual phrase, which came from that movie. No, it did not. The <laughs> phrase came way before that movie, bro. Hate to break it to you. I'm gonna have to retreat. This damn thing. Using Chroma's death fire, oh my god. God, that attack's length is just annoying as shit. One, two, one, two, two. I don't think I did that right. Two, two. Little shit. This is what's annoying as shit. Not even Zoa can take these hits. He didn't even move any of his pieces to attack me. He just moved one and he basically killed something. You've got to be. Come on. We're gonna lose again. Seriously? Yeah, it's kind of fucking annoying at this point. Can I hit you and kill you? What is going on with these... Oh my god. He should not be getting buffed from that land. And he's a dark. What the hell? What you gonna do? I can't even kill Karibo. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even hurt that thing. Blink, attack, blink, attack. You've got to be kidding me. I can't even move Skull into attacking range. Or, like, close. Wow. That's how annoying that is. Can you see why I'm frustrated a little bit right now? Yeah. I'm just going to have to nuke his monsters and get them in killing range with other monsters at this point.
What's annoying is I haven't even hit this thing yet. And now he's taunting me. You asshat! He's going right for Ryukushin too. Right for him. Cause guess what happens if he moves a character back? Oh god. The good news is I think I can kill two of his three this turn. Possibly. It's very risky. Very risky, because the only poke the only Pokemon. No! I could possibly lose this. Okay, hang on. Okay, we can kill that. Which damage am I gonna do this? Huh. He can't really move, but we need to kill this. We need to get it out of here now. Okay. You're down. This is pathetic. I essentially just did six damage to it. Yeah. If I was a level higher, I might have been able to kill it, but good luck getting a level higher. Okay, now we're gonna finish off this one. Oh wow, the destroyed icon didn't come up a moment ago. Yeah. And now for the bad part. You can't just gang up on the thing? No, it's diagonal movement and dot dot, so... Yeah, kind of weird. No, if it stays right there, I cannot hit it. I can't hit it! <laughs> it's in the perfect spot to just straight up murder me. No, it's not. Don't even say that. You're gonna die here horribly. Look, I can't even move there. Because it'll just move back and go for the kill. I can't move there. I can't move there either, because I'll just die. One, two, one, two. Yeah, see. Okay. One, two. What's his attack? The dot dot's the fucking most annoying thing with this guy. I'm gonna be pissed if we lose again. This is redonkulous. I really just want to go over and just smack his fucking icon. But I can't, because that's in the way! Shocker! This is suicide, you want to know why? It can also attack me. Mm. And it's getting in a position to kill Ryuk Shin. So, can move back there. Dot. Hit. Dot. It's just such a brain fuck to even try to look at that. You've got to be kidding me. This could actually make or break. I'm gonna go for it. Oh boy. Should I? Because if I do that. I will die in retaliation, but Summon Skull might be able, if I can play around, kill her. Kill it. Mm -hmm. But it's that's a big if, because my attack race is a measly two. In straight line. And I can't even really think of the dot-dot combination. See, that... It's in a fucking annoying placement, too. That's diagonal. Blank attack. Blank attack. 
I'm going to be pissed if I end my turn and he's going to go for a kill. Do you think I should just wing it? Ah, oh, I'm not sure. This might be regretful. He's actually done this before. Wait, he can't even attack me from here. He's wanting me to bait my skull in. Because if I move someone's skull in position, he will get hit. Because look, he can only move back. So he's there. We'll see what happens. If if I make the wrong choice, I make the wrong choice, but alright. You just go for Ah Do not level I think it just became that impossible kill now. It is literally up to Ryukishin at this point. Hell yes. <laughs> yes! This, will... this was a little stupid. <laughs> I have never had that much difficulty with them. Holy crap! Even the other four guys were like, okay, well, Merrick might have been the second hardest, but Bakura was just annoying. No kidding. The only time to well, we didn't even get to 30 minutes yet. Yeah. And, oh my god, I got 84. Oh, because it leveled up. Very nice. And our attack goes up, too. He honestly deserves that. Okay. Oh, he's level three now. He went up two levels from that fight alone. Nice. So I'm gonna actually buff up our effect strength quite a bit. Uh, and yeah. Okay, we are going to take these two. Definitely. And that unlocks area four, I believe. It does, because we beat... Wait, no, don't we have a boss that we have to beat? Do we? No. I guess this is place is Imperfect Paradise, it called, huh? We'll find out. The area will pop up if we cleared it. I think we fought five duelists, so that should be the area clear. Indeed it was. So, just a little preview to show you who's coming up next. We're not going to fight, don't worry, we're just going to look. That's a bitch to fight. All right because you actually have to race to the middle. So you have to use high movement monsters. We need Faithbird. Faithbird died, so we have to cap all off. Yep, he's there. We usually have Exodia for this fight. Helps out a lot. Big busty lady. Okay. Yeah. Um, she's also a bitch. He's, I think, ironically the easiest. And of course. So, yeah, those are the guys we have to fight. Not very fun. So, for a reward for getting that far... We'll go to the shop and we'll see what new monsters we have. We should have the last Exodia piece for up for shop. You've gotten very... It makes me... Here are some more... Okay, so yeah, we got some new monsters. What would you like to do? So, I know for a fact we should have Exodia if he does say that. Oh, we got Skullgarian. 
His stats aren't really great, but we're gonna need it. Um, there it is. Magician. Definitely want the Dark Magician. Um, I've never seen multiple humans in action, but look at those. That's just... Grazius is decent, actually, in that game. Uh, man eating Black Shark. So what is that thing you like to eat? Saki is eh. Gazelle's helpful. They're actually telling you something with all these movements. Also, oh, oh, there's Hercules Beetle. Nice! We need him for the fusion. So that's actually gonna be it. I'm gonna just buy these. Okay, so the first thing we need to do. What would you like to do? Is we need to actually, if we want to get the last piece of Exodia, we have to go to Manage Monsters and we have to go to our deck. We are going to do some heavy reconstruction. Um, I'm just gonna put in the Exodia really quick so we can get the head. We're actually going to take a Chrono now because we don't need him. Oh, okay, so we can't choose him because he's. Currently in rest mode. Same Viper. Get that sucker in. Um, get rid of this petite moth, put it in the condition. For some reason, he is black. Huh. Okay, it's such a heavy hitter. Maybe here can go. I just told you I was going to be doing this the. Uh... I told you I was putting in. That with a. Sorry. Take out this happy lover, replace that with a Kiatsu. Manipulator out. Speed all. Doku. Firewing. Oh, yeah. Firewing's a bitch. Take that out. I just looked at the um, MP it takes to even put him in. It's a whopping 300. Ah. That's more than Metal Zoic. Nah, that's not happening. The movement is great, but it's just horrid. Its attack isn't great. I might keep it in just in case we actually need it for. Okay, so since we have. Yeah, no, we're over. Uh, since we have those monsters, oh God. since we have all four pieces finally in our deck, we can go in there and ask him for the head and the arm. Right. Uh, well, we have the arm. We just need the head left. So he'll say this, or he should. Yep. So once we have all four pieces in our inventory... Where's the head? Uh, it is. Do it. There it is. That's all five pieces! What now we just have to get the last two to level two, and we should be set for Exodia Fusion. Nice! He is known as Summon Lord Exodia, and he hits like a nuke. However, the cost of it is... Oh, you mean like that new Exodia card? Mm -hmm. That's an actual card now. It's going to level two. The unfortunate problem with using this fusion is the fact that his monster point is so Oh, is it? It's like well into the 500s. We can only put him and like a, some weak ass monsters in. So that'll be it for this. We finally finished the areas. I'm dead tired. Yeah. If um, you like this video, then please don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to his cha Dark Heroes channel if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Envoy, and I'll see you soon. I've been Harold. See ya. Adios!